Hey there, do you have pain in your shoulder? Does it hurt a lot to reach up overhead? Pain in your upper arm, reaching out above, those types of things are really bothering you? Then you need to keep watching this video to find out how to fix it now. My name's Rob Drenning, I'm a physical therapist. I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I use almost every day in the clinic pretty regularly with people that struggle with just that, that it hurts reaching up or doing things above and overhead. And these things that, that I'm gonna show you, they don't work for everybody, but they work for a large majority of people. And I picked my three favorite ones here. The reason is because, because of what happens when you have pain. It's, it's called pain inhibition. And it's just like it sounds, when you have an injury or something hurts, your brain will shut off all the stimulus to that area. It's its, it's way of saying, I'm, and something's going on there. I'm gonna protect it. I don't want it to get hurt anymore. And it does that by turning off the muscles that work in the shoulder. And that it's not a great defense mechanism that in turn makes it a little more painful and it's hard to break out of that cycle. So sometimes all you have to do is uninhibit them or wake them back up again. And once you do that, it immediately improves your ability to reach and takes away a lot of that painful sensation away. So I want to share with those, those with you today and hope that they help you be able to reach up overhead with less shoulder pain. So let's go check those out now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do before we start going over these exercises is you wanna test your overhead reach because that's gonna be your baseline. After we go through them, you wanna test it again and see if it changed it quickly because that's the goal with these, fast acting relief. So do that right now, test your shoulder range of motion, see how it feels, that's your baseline, remember that. First exercise is called an external rotation isometric and isometric just means that there is no movement happening. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a towel roll, and you're gonna put it underneath the arm of your hurt shoulder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand in a doorway or a wall and you're gonna push your hand out into the doorway, just like you're doing this motion right here. And you're gonna have the wall or the doorway blocking you. It makes it an isometric because there's no movement happening. And you're gonna push into that wall as hard as you can, but comfortably. This has to be pain-free. It does not have to be hard at all. It's very gentle. We're just trying to wake up muscles that are a little bit asleep. We're not trying to fatigue them or uh, feel a burn or do anything like that. We're just trying to put enough stimulus to wake them up. So keep it relatively on the gentle side, but your pressure won't matter exactly as much as long as it's 100% pain-free. So just a reminder, we're pushing your hand into the doorway not your elbow. We don't want it to be that lateral raise type of movement. That's why the towel rolls here. It's going to cue us to keep that squeeze there so we can just push with the hand like we were doing that rotation movement. So it'll look just like this again. You're going to push into that wall and you're going to hold that for 30 seconds. I know it's a long time, but the longer you can hold that's pain-free, the more nerve drive goes to that muscle and the better it wakes up. If it's a, getting a little achy, a little uncomfortable after a little bit, then just do 10, 15 seconds. You can shorten that a little bit, but your goal is to hold it about 30 seconds and do three to five reps. If you're shortening it, holding it for 10 seconds, do more reps. 10 second holds for 10 reps, something like that. But the first one you want to do is called the external rotation isometric. The second exercise is called bilateral external rotation. Now it's gonna be optional for some people because it will, it will be painful and if it is, you should not be doing this. Just do the first one and the next one that we're gonna do. But if this one's okay to do, then it's a good one to start to try right after that isometric. So we've just done those and now what I want you to do is you're gonna take a towel roll again, just like before, and put it underneath your painful shoulder. You can put one under the other side too, that's okay, it won't matter, but at least under the painful one. And you're gonna take a resistance band and what you're going to do is hold it in both hands. You're going to try to keep your elbows against your ribs and you're going to rotate your hands out slightly. And if you can squeeze the shoulder blades back, if that's comfortable, real slight, real gentle tension here. You can go as far as you want, but it can get more painful the farther out you go. This one has to be comfortable and pain free. So you're going to pull on the band, squeeze the shoulder blades. If squeezing the shoulder blades hurts, then just squeeze pull on the band. Uh, if you can do both, that's great. But if not, don't worry about it. If you don't have a band, you can find these on Amazon or anywhere. But what you can do is keep a towel roll under there, but use a bungee cord or something around your house that's stretchy. Or if you don't have one of those, just use a towel and you're going to 
pull into the towel just like you're doing that motion but obviously you won't be able to move the towel so it's going to look more like that isometric that we just did but it is an effective alternative because you're using both shoulders now it's increasing the nerve drive to those muscles which is what we want to get rid of that pain inhibition but if you have something a little stretchy your resistance band keep the towel roll under here you're going to rotate both hands out to the side you're shooting for low load, high repetitions of this. So really light tension, three sets of 10. Again, it should be pain-free. You can rotate your hands as far as you want, but that's the second exercise. Optional because you shouldn't do it if it hurts. That's bilateral external rotation. Okay, we're on to our third and final trick that I like to use to get really fast pain relief reaching overhead. This is my favorite one. It's called a resisted wall slide. So again, you're gonna take a resistance band if you don't have a band, use a towel. It won't matter as much for this exercise. But if you have a loop, you're gonna put a loop around your wrist, around both hands, or you're just gonna circle it around the backs of your hands like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to turn to the wall and you're gonna put your the karate chop part of your hand resting on the wall, and you're gonna slide your hands up the wall just like that. So it'll look like this. I'm gonna put my hands resting on the wall I'm gonna put a little tension out on the band, and then I'm gonna slide my arms up the wall just like that. Reaching as high as I can comfortably. Keep it in a nice, comfortable range with this. This will often feel better when you do that than it does just to reach up overhead. Now you don't want to just put tension on the band and reach up like this like I'm doing. You need your hands supported on the wall. That's really important for this one. That little bit of support goes a long way. So light tension, sliding your hands up the wall. Now, how much tension you put is sort of like some of those other exercises. We want these to be on the milder side, so really gentle. Just a little bit of light tension as you go up. If you're really struggling feeling the burn, after three or four reps, that's too much tension. Go lighter, ease up, or if you have a towel, push outward into it with less pressure. So that's the resisted wall slide. Now that you've done all those three, you want to reach up overhead again. See how it feels, test it out, and see if that worked for you. That's it, I hope it helped for you. Let me know in the comments how it worked for you. Stay tuned for more videos and tips on pain relief and improving your mobility.